Hey everybody, it's Tim from the Tupperware Boys, tupperwareboys.com. And today it is time for a Tupperware experiment. So I am going to be using the Tupperware pressure cooker and we are going to make um, some chicken with some tomato sauce and then we're gonna add some pasta later and see how it turns out. This is the first for me so we'll find out all together. All right, so first of all, I'm going to use the pressure cooker. So the pressure cooker has a patented seal on the inside, so this is made for the microwave. Um, it's going to build up pressure on the inside. It also has a steam vent on the top so that it will let out um, excess pressure. And then it has an indicator button so that you know that it is still pressurized so that you're not going to open that up and get steam on your face. Um, so what we are going to do for this experiment is we're going to take a frozen chicken breast. and we're going to pour some tomato sauce over the top. Uh, we're going to use our, our Tupperware um, can opener. So this is going to actually take the factory seal right off of the can. So you're not going to have any sharp edges. We just add that to the top. Spin until it's completely around. You'll hear a little pop just like that. You take the little prongs on the end here, grab onto it, and lift. It lifts the seal right off of the can. So this goes right into the garbage can so you're not getting germs or anything inside of your food. All right, so let me pour this can of tomato sauce over the top. Let me add a little bit of water to that so that uh, it will absorb. We want our ingredient here, the chicken, to be submersed almost completely there. So it does have a fill line, so we don't want to go over the fill line. So let's go ahead and put this into the microwave, and let's start off with uh, 15 minutes and see how this works. So I have uh, locked it into place. It also comes with a lock attachment on the top, so that is going to be locked in place. And let's put this in the microwave uh, for 15 minutes and see what it looks like when it's uh, ready. Microwave just beeps, so that means the pressure cooker is done cooking. So let's take that out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, as you can see, there is steam coming out the vent still. And the indicator is still raised, so we are going to let this depressurize for about five minutes, and then we will open it up and see what uh, has uh, if it's done cooking. So uh, let's give it a few more minutes. I've given it about five minutes, so let's go ahead and open that up and see what the chicken looks like. So first, I'm going to detach the locking mechanism here. There is a secondary valve here, so it will release any remaining steam that may be inside if needed. I'm going to unlock and release. All right, so let's see. Let me take this piece of chicken out and see if it has cooked all the way through. Nope, it's not quite done. So what I'm going to do now is since it is pretty much de-thawed, I'm going to chop it up in some smaller chunks. That way it will cook much evener. And then put that back into the pressure cooker. So frozen chicken takes much longer in the pressure cooker as you can imagine. So um, a thawed piece of chicken will be much less. So probably 15 minutes would probably do it for the thawed piece of chicken. So frozen, probably about 25 minutes total. I'm gonna give it a, another 10 minutes in the microwave. All 
All right. Um, once I'm done with the chicken, I'm going to put in um, two cups of shell pasta and have that cook for an additional five minutes. That shouldn't take very long since they're very small pieces of pasta here. So that should cook fairly quickly. So I'm gonna put the lid back on here. And the locking mechanism. And I'll put this in for another 10 minutes. All right, I've taken the pressure cooker out of the microwave for the second time and let it uh, depressurize. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up again and check the status of the chicken now. It looks beautiful on the inside. Let me just take a piece out and check it. Oh yes, it's completely done. So. I'm just going to put the chicken pieces into the Power Chef because we are going to mince that up and make a shredded chicken. So let me go ahead and put those in the Power Chef. One last piece in there. I think that's it. Yep. One more piece, there it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in two cups of shell pasta. There we go. Mix that right in there. And let me go ahead and put this in the pressure cooker for another 10 minutes or so and uh, get this cooking. All right, let me put that in the microwave. Okay, so I have the pressure cooker cooking the pasta in the microwave for another 10 mi more minutes. So now we are gonna take the Power Chef and we are gonna shred the chicken. Um, so with the Power Chef, it comes with a three blade system and this is for more of emulsifying and blending. And it has a power top here, which it has a pull string to it. So you just pull the string and it turns the blades. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and attach this on top and give this a couple of cranks. You want to give it a couple short bursts to begin and that will get the, the pieces chopped up fine enough to, um, to get it started. And then you can do full bursts with the string to get the fine chop. So let me go ahead and get that started. That should do it. Um, and as you can see, the chicken is nice and shredded. And you can use this with pulled pork, or you can do chicken or turkey or uh, beef, any sort of meat that you want to have shredded. No more taking the, the forks and prying apart the, uh, you know, the pork or the chicken to get that shredded look. Um, you, you can do that with the uh, Tupperware Power Chef. So um, that is going to be our ingredient in our pasta today. So we'll just wait for the uh, pressure cooker to finish the pasta and we will mix that all together. All right, the pasta is done and has depressurized. So let's just take a look to see if it is ready for the chicken. And it looks like the pasta is also ready. Let me just stir this up. Oh yes, that looks delicious. All right, so let's stir in the chicken. Wow, that looks delicious. All right, so there we have it. It is pasta shells with chicken in the pressure cooker.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this cooking demonstration experiment. We've done another experiment and it's very successful it looks like. I will uh, be having my dinner shortly and I will let you know if it's good. I'm sure it is. Uh, but anyway, if you like my video, please hit the like button. And as my son Tyler always says, don't forget to hit the subscribe. That way you know when my next video is coming up. So thank you very much and visit my website, TupperwareBoys.com.